Dirty Dirty Grooves is a book full of intermediate to advanced grooves that not only sound dirty. I'm sold. I just bought Zach Grooves' ebook called Dirty Dirty Grooves and I've been working through it over the past week. As I was working through these grooves, it had me just thinking about Zach and his YouTube channel and just wondering how this guy, who really doesn't take himself so seriously, got so popular in the drumming community. He's my friend, we've been chatting for years, and I think what has made him so popular and so likable is the fact that he's a funny guy, but he's also such a great drummer. In this video, I'm gonna break down three concepts that he regularly uses in his drumming and see how we can learn from those. And what made me really hone in on these concepts is that they can be found throughout his whole ebook. So the thing that Zach kept doing in those clips is he uses his hi-hat foot as an extra piece of texture to his playing. Most of us just use our hi-hat foot to keep time, but what Zach does all the time is he uses it as like another orchestrated part on the kit. So how can we practice getting better at that ourselves? Here's a few ideas. What I'm doing in these grooves is playing a bass drum pattern and then I just swap the bass drum out with the hi-hat foot. Okay, that's a cool way of developing your hi-hat foot, but it's not actually what Zach does. So what he does is he fits hi-hat foots into like linear phrases and that kind of thing. So here's a few of those to try out. Okay, the next thing he does really well, and I struggle to find a few clips of this, but he does this all the time, and I've just seen it in so many of his videos, is he's really good at playing three snare drum notes in a row. That's not easy, and it's what most of us don't even think of doing when we think of playing grooves and fills. So it's a good thing to practice to kind of expand our vocabulary, and here are a few ways of working on that. In the first exercise, we're gonna play it in triplets. In the second exercise, we're gonna play straight notes. Then it's a good idea to switch between triplets and straight notes. Finally, what Zach does, and this is where he brings us up most of the time, is he plays a lot of shuffle grooves, and in those shuffle grooves, he does this three snare drum in a row thing. So here's a quick shuffle groove just to try that out. Thank you. 
Okay, next concept that Zach does all the time is he uses stacks throughout all of his playing. It is like an essential part of what he does on the drums. He has these stack symbols all around his kit and they've become part of his voice. It's just who he is. So how can we work on adding stacks to grooves? There are a few simple things that we can try. So we're gonna play a basic eighth note groove, but we're gonna flam the backbeats on the snare drum. In this first example, we're gonna play a left hand led flam. To incorporate the stack, you're gonna take your right hand and just play it on the stack instead of the snare drum. Now we're gonna try that in reverse, starting with our right hand first. Okay, cool, that's just like a basic hip hop idea thing to incorporate a stack. But Zach Grooves plays a lot of, again, linear phrases around the kits that he turns into chops back into grooves. He has a small idea that you can try with incorporating a stack. You're gonna play a repeating three note pattern and you're gonna go kick drum, left hand, right hand, and the right hand's gonna be on the stack, the left hand's gonna be on the hi-hat. So it's kick, hi-hat, stack, and just loop that. And there are three things that Zach Grooves just does all the time. I was just so blown away by how often these came up in his Dirty Dirty Grooves and they're just iconic to his playing. It's how he expresses himself on the kit and we can really just learn from that. I highly recommend checking out his Dirty Dirty Grooves book. I've put the link in the description. I feel like I'm a pretty good drummer, but I've been stuck on most of these grooves over the past week and I'll keep on practicing to get those nailed. If you're looking for some more things to learn from me or what we can take from other famous drummers, I recommend checking out whatever video is being linked right now.